Very quick video about the, the 26. Uh, spoke to the police this morning about the route, about where we're going. Uh, still a few things that need squared away before we put anything out, but everything's looking really very positive, very good. Um, again, the police know what our intentions are. They know that we're wanting to have everything very, very peaceful, very um, safe for everybody that's coming. So I want to allay any... I know there's been a lot of chat after the riots and after everything that happened and and the, the bluster that's coming out from the, the Labour government, but this is totally separate to what we're doing. The team that are going to be... Um, policing the 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 event are a team that we worked with before from the top down so that's a very very positive development we've got a good working relationship with these guys and let me say a, a, a certain level of trust has been built we, we don't fully trust the hierarchy of the police by any means um, in fact it'd probably be good if the hierarchy from I don't know superintendent up were sacked tomorrow and replaced with some of the the, the more um, sensible, younger officers that, that we've dealt with recently. But that's another story. But the, the reality is that from a point of view of policing, I absolutely believe that we can have exactly the same level of safety and, and um, peace that we've had at the other events. So if anyone's worried about coming, Please come. Uh, last night I made a video inviting all the veterans. I really want veterans to turn up, so I'm going to say that again today. Come on, lads. Get your boots on again. Get your berries on. Get your medals on and, and make your way to the muster point, which hasn't been put out yet, and we're not going to put that out for quite a while. Um, but everything's in hand. Everything's looking really, really good and, and really positive. So, again, if you're worried about anything, I can't guarantee absolute safety for you crossing the road, for you going to bed tonight, or any other thing you do in your life. But what I will say is, between ourselves and the stewards and the different security teams and Tommy and everybody else involved in this and all the lads that are gonna come, we know that we can, we can keep things peaceful and in order. And um, yeah, so I can't, I can't stress that strongly. One of the things I'd like to really mention about this is, is getting people of faith involved. And obviously everybody knows that I come from a Christian perspective. And again, not a very good one, but I come from a Christian perspective. And I would love to see lots and lots of Christians coming to that event. We always have Christian speakers and we always have worship music at these events, and that's not gonna change. So we'll continue in that vein. Um, you know, there's, there's, a, there's a very, very strong Christian ethos in the movement. So if you're if you're a church goer, particularly, but do you know what I'd really like to see? I'd, I'd like to see um, a lot more of, of people from the from the black churches in London, because a lot of you guys, I know you agree with everything that we're saying and everything that we're doing. In in you're, you're very conservative in your outlook, and you love the country, and you're concerned about the the things that we're concerned about. So black churches in London, you guys are invited. To come to this event, and obviously also other other faiths as well. I mean, we we um, we may not believe and share your belief systems, but we certainly respect your right to worship in any way that you see fit. So, people from any faith background, um, we've loads of Jewish people come to our events, loads of Sikh people come to our events, and we've some Muslims come to our events as well. So, don't think it's a you know this is a, a, a exclusively Christian event when it comes to when it comes to beliefs it's not that's not what it's about at all but what we do is we do absolutely acknowledge and respect the christian culture of the united kingdom and whether you're a believer or an atheist whether you're a muslim a jew or a hindu you can still respect the christian ethos of of the united kingdom in the same way that if if i went to india i would respect the hindu religion if i went to saudi arabia I would act in accordance with what's required of me in Saudi Arabia. So that's all we're asking when people come to our events, that they, they do have that respect for the Christian heritage of this country and what that Christian heritage has led to. And of course, you can be an atheist. Like Richard Dawkins, he's, he is an atheist and calls himself a cultural Christian, even though he spent since 2000, just after 9-11, 
um, really pushing hard back against religion of any kind. And of course, Christianity is always a soft target. So he, he seemed to target Christianity more than he did um, Islam. But there we are. But no, even Richard Dawkins could come to our event. We don't care if you're left wing or right wing. You know where we stand politically. We're absolutely diametrically opposed to the to the far left, almost communistic government that we've got under Keir Starmer, Yvette Cooper and whoever else the, 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 um, the gang are. But we're also very welcoming to people from different political persuasions to come to the events. As long as you don't cause disruption, as long as you don't cause any aggro, come and listen to what we've got to say. Come and hear a different point of view. I mean, I would quite happily go to um, any of your meetings. The problem is I wouldn't be allowed in. And I'd probably be forcibly removed. But I absolutely respect people's opinions. I may fundamentally disagree with them. I, I absolutely disagree with communism. I absolutely disagree with fascism. I absolutely disagree with Islamism and globalism. Everyone knows where I stand. But it doesn't mean that we can't welcome people as individuals. And I think that's where we need to get to. We need to get to a situation where we can actually have dialogue with people that disagree with us. And we've always been open to that. And I think if you've seen any of the, the stuff that we've done, we've always had that 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 ability to be able to dis discuss things with people calmly and sensibly. So anyway, that's 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 it. 26th of October. It's going to be a great day. It's going to be an event. Yes, we're talking about very, very serious issues. We're talking about political prisoners. We're talking about the persecution of Tommy and many, many other things. But let's come with an open heart, an open mind, an open hand. And and let's have a great peaceful celebration of everything it means to be British. And let's really start uniting the kingdom and bringing people together at a grassroots level. See you all soon.